Welcome to the Action Shooting Show Prize Table Review. Been a little bit of time since I've done one of these, so we're going to get right into it. This is kind of a review slash update. It's a product we've talked about a handful of times on the show. Um, I did kind of a, a roundup of a couple of these type products, but that is the Run and Gun Tactic uh, Steady Shot. So, for those not familiar with it, this is a little bag. I'll kind of show you an example on a rifle already. So, um, you would attach this to your handguard. It's got some, some bead type, you know, sand material inside of these little pylons. And then um, down the center of it, you have a little anti skid material. So, why would you want one of these? So, for a lot of action shooting sh uh, competitions and stuff, we would be shooting off of barricades and other stuff like that. And um, hard on hard is not ideal. So you got an aluminum or carbon fiber handguard, something like that. Um, you're resting that on a hard surface. It can slide. Um, it can bounce when you recoil or through your follow through. It'll kind of slide or bounce. Um, it's not ideal. So you'll notice in a lot of positional shooting, if, if you're not familiar with it, you know, people will like, they'll be resting their elbow. Well, they won't rest their elbow on their knee. You know, those two surfaces are hard. They may rest it more on like the thigh. So you're getting that hard onto soft, not hard onto hard. So, um, and, and obviously you can't always do that, but, but that's kind of the ideal situation. So that hard is kind of sinking into the soft, helps be more stable, helps not to want to bounce or recoil weird. So that, that's basically what you're trying to do with one of these. Um, it doesn't weigh a whole lot. It's, it's always on your rifle. So um, that, and that was the old way. You know, they would um, kind of, as, as you see on here, they kind of had some like paracord and it would lace onto there so it works out really well um, some guns it attaches better than others but the newest version of this you still maintain that you know you still get paracord you still get the slots for it but now he um, Scott has added some uh, velcro so hook and loop tape so um, they, they give you the loop you know a couple strips of it uh, and the um, hook is sewed into it and um, now, if you need, like if you have a gun that maybe a rule set doesn't allow it and you want to take it on and off, um, this is a lot easier than the, the paracord. Some guns, the paracord is really, really handy. Some it's not. Um, pick rails, especially if it's got pick on the top, it's pretty handy. It threads on. It doesn't move much. If you have something like a carbon fiber handguard that's really smooth and doesn't have like a pick rail on it, um, it can be hard. It wants to slide up and down. So, um, for instance, if you just... If you still want to thread it on there, you could put a little hook in the middle on the handguard or loop on the middle of your handguard to help this kind of stay in place. Or you could just put the Velcro on the sides and the bottom and just take it on and off. So one of the things that I'm kind of excited about with this is, um, so this is my 16 inch. And if you notice on the bottom here, it's got a Arca rail. This actually will um, Velcro on over top of that Arca rail. So now I can have this on here and run it most of the time because I don't really use the Arca a ton. So that stays in my M-Lock. This handguard, this bag kind of stays over top of it. But if I'm doing some more precision shooting and get the, uh, the want to use that, I can just peel this back halfway. I can peel the whole thing off and still use Arca. Um, I would say the, the caveat on these in general is... I. They fit everything that I've had. Any gun that I've tried it on, I don't know of anyone who doesn't. If you tried to have like Arca and you have like a really fat handguard or, or something like that, um, you, you definitely want to double check that this is going to kind of spread around it. I know it's pretty um, pretty wide when you get a piece of Arca down there, but um, so far I've had, I've had good luck with it, but kind of your mileage may vary in that. But uh, I, I would say that uh, this is a good addition to it. It gives you a lot of flexibility. And again, if you really just like lacing it on, which I think the three or four rifles I have this on, the, all the other ones are just laced on. I, I just leave it. I just put it on there, leave it. It's, it's only a couple ounces. It really doesn't add much. So there's really no reason for me to take it off. But um, the Velcro is, is a nice feature. So um, if you uh, haven't got one, take a look at it. Um, Running Gun Tactics, you can find them on Facebook, find them on, you know, Google their their website. It's been a pretty nice um, product, and I see it pop up, and I don't know that I've shot a match this year that I haven't seen at least one. Uh, it's really popular, as the name kind of implies, in the Run and Gun community because there's no rule set against it. Um, the Team Ruck match we, match we shot earlier, quite a few of the competitors 
had them, and I actually they were they sponsored that, so they're giving them out. So I have a feeling we'll see more of those popping up there. But um, really, the only reason I think I wouldn't run one is just the rule set. You know, that would put me in like an open or something maybe that I didn't want to shoot. Um, besides for that, I, I think it's a pretty good product because there's just sides for a small amount of weight there's really no no downsides to it unless you're just really really limited on rail space and um i don't know that's about six inches um at least that's what i'll tell everybody it's six inches but that's uh it's not real long so you, you should have plenty of room for it um i'm gonna try to get some more of these out uh you know i don't do reviews on everything we maybe pick up on a prize table but but i do try i try to give back to the um, kind of throw out some good words about the companies that um, sponsor these sports because um, it's really cool. I don't shoot matches for prize tables, but these companies want to help the matches out. They want to help uh, shooters out, so I, I definitely want to give them some some props and feedback for that. So, uh, Running Gun Tactics, check them out. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I've actually been running these for a couple years now, and then before that, a uh, Kind of another product that's uh, obsolete now. They, they no longer make it, which is kind of where this came in. But um, So I've got a lot of experience shooting these in matches. So uh, feel free to ask me any questions. And if you got anything you want to see me review, let me know. Um, we got some other guys on the show that will review some stuff or that may talk about some stuff in the future as well. So kind of let us know what you're interested in or kind of what you want to hear. Thanks.